This project was yet another commission I received for a huge orc war boss. The commissioner had specifically requested a huge grizzled boss with a tank barrel as a peg leg. As a base, I picked this minotaur from Zealot Miniatures, who's perfectly bulky and muscular. I started off by snipping away his tail and sawing off his bull head. I also snipped off his back mane, since orcs don't actually have hair of any type. It leaves a blank space without musculature, but for now I didn't really worry about it as I was pretty sure I'd end up covering it with armor. I didn't, but did end up covering the blank spaces with a few green stuff scars instead. The biggest challenge in deminotauring him was to replace his digitigrade legs. I halved the legs at the knee, measured how long his shin and foot was, and used wire and a kilocan foot to create an armature to layer on green stuff. Detail wasn't really important since I knew I was going to layer on armor over it. While I was pretty happy with how he's turning out, I wasn't sure he would be sufficiently massive for what the commissioner wanted, so I cast and grew him to create this monstrosity. For his other leg, I layered on plastic heart to create a basic powered leg. I did this because I wasn't entirely sure which of the two legs I wanted to be the peg leg. Either I thought could work well, but I ended up on deciding the back leg primarily because it could hide how wonky it was turning out. I snipped off the foot to get the angle right for the cannon barrel. I had three options for different tank turrets I could use. I kind of like this one since it already looked looted and orcified, but eventually ended up using this one as its simpler shape made it read more as a cannon barrel. As a knee joint, I used this missile rack from a Tau power suit. After it was in place, I glued the cannon barrel to the bottom. Leg worked out for now, I started layer on armor to the war boss. For my first attempt, I gave him a pair of pauldrons, sculpted green stuff straps, and attached this armor plate as a breastplate. While this looked okay, I didn't love it, and ended up redoing much of it to give him a larger, stronger silhouette. While the original model is wielding a two-handed axe, I wanted this war bus to also have a ranged option, so for a DACA dispenser, I glued in place the Onslaught Cannon from a Primaris Redemptor Dreadnought. The position of the arm and hand are kind of perfect for making it look like he's hefting it behind him once I glued on a pair of supports to either side of the hand in a brace. For his right arm, I'd cut off the original upper arm and put together two power claws, one smaller and one larger, using the defiler arm I've used in previous builds. The one on the left is more proportional, but not as badass as this crab claw abomination, which is what I ended up gluing on. And with that, my war boss was ready to be shipped off to his commissioner. In all, I'm quite pleased with how he turned out. Though a cannon peg leg isn't the kind of thing I'd usually outfit one of my giant orcs with, I think in combination with his cyborg head, it really sells his grizzled look. The Zealot Minotaur line is really fantastic, and I plan on converting more in the future. I know this is a bit of a short video for such a huge build, but since it was a commission, I didn't have a chance to film as much as normal. That shouldn't be an issue going forward though, so subscribe to the channel, and in the meantime, check out some of my other huge orcs. Thanks for watching.